So now it's time to get underway with our last of, well, our last of the first set of uh, qualifying heats here. And it's race three. And it's uh, heat, well, it's going to be uh, qualifying heat number one. So it's Martin Henkel Morlins and, and Willem Villelainen, Johan Andersen and Matthias Lund on row two. Wagner Virus and Jan Malacek on row three. Jan Schwitter and Slavomir Moransky, row four. Uh, Cosimo Cittignola and uh, Dionysus Liveris on row five with Helfinger and Pejewski, row six, Becker and Hauer, row seven, Weinstock and Fedor, row eight, ahead of Van der Kaj, Christoph Adams and uh, Bayer in the 5-0-8. So it's going to be quite an interesting one. It's going to be quite an interesting one uh, on this particular encounter. It's going to be 10 minutes plus uh, one additional lap. So top 10, it's going to be Martin Henkel Mortensen on pole. Willi Willeleinen from Finland alongside him on the, on the front row. Johan Andersson and Matthias Lund. Uh, Ragnar Virus, Jan Malacek, Jan Schwitter. Slavomir Moransky, Cosimo Sidignola, and Dionysus Liveris. That is your top 10 as 19 DD2 and DD2 Masters drivers now get into formation ahead of their first 10 minute plus one additional lap encounter here. And Christoph Adams is just rushing to get to the back part of the grid. He's going to be lining up in 18th place ahead of uh, Konrad Bayer. Or is it now? It's going to be the top two now get into position. So Henkel Mortens on your screen when we go green very shortly will be on pole position on the left-hand side. And it will be Villelainen from Finland alongside the number 424. DD2 and DD2 Masters set for action right now here in Wackersdorf. And very shortly we go into the start procedure. The Rotax engines, the revs will rise. The roar starts right now, and we go green heading into turn one. Oh no, full start called. Full start called by race control. Not happy, not happy at all. So it's going to be another formation lap. So that was a full start. We've had several this season. But obviously, the race director was not at all happy with the formation, ready to go green. So again, it is time to reset and refocus, and get into position, and get ready to go into battle here in DD2 and DD2 Masters. This is the biggest grid we had in the 2018 racing calendar, and what a way for it to be shown here at the season finale in Wackersdorf. They go through the penultimate hair hairpin for another time, but now it's Henkel Mortensen and Willi Leinen alongside, and behind them it will be Anderson and Lund, that's your top two rows here in the first qualifying heat. Groups A and Groups B, with each competitor set to take part in two of the three qualifying heats here in southern Germany. As the sun continues to beat down, and the temperature at the moment is still around 14 degrees Celsius now. This is at the peak of what the weather conditions were predicting to do today. The drivers now head into the tram lines. Red lights on the starting gantry. Do we go green this time around? Revs rise. We go into turn one. And uh, great moves there by the 428 of Anderson, who's up into second, got past. Oh, and there's a spinner. There's a spinner in the middle on oh, the cart. The carts have gone absolutely left, right, and center. I think one of them might have been Christoph Adams, and there is one, a very forlorn cart, trying to get towards turn three. So drama at the beginning of DD2 as well. And the driver right at the back part of the field as the leaders now come through to the uh, hairpin itself. Looks to be, well, that's Jan Malacek right at the back of the... Uh, Back of the field and right at the back of the order is the number 504 and that's Becker as Christoph Adams is making up a few places in the process. He's just got past Geza Fodor and I think Dionysus Libris might be there as well with him. So the Grecian right on the back foot at the early start of this race. But leading is Henkel Mortensen 
nearly three tenths of a second ahead of Anderson, who's come under pressure. And I think Willi Leinen's just thrown it up the inside, gets the inside run, does the fin for turn three. Nice work by the four, uh, 414, but Anderson in the 428 is not going to have any of that. Then you've got uh, Matthias Lund and Jan Schwitter now up into fifth position. So Schwitter started seventh, has already made up two places and is looking to move forward. Uh, Hawa in the 494 is now up into sixth place. So uh, drama already, one full start and an absolute mayhem involved, uh, mayhem uh, fulfilled incident going into turn two, which saw multiple carts go off, tr off track, which included Christoph Adams, who nearly went uh, basically at a 45 degree angle up a grassy, grassy slope. But Christoph Adams is absolutely charging. He is wanting to put as much distance uh, between himself and the rest of the opposition. The Belgian in the triple five now up into 11th position as a result of the mayhem and the pandemonium that we had in just the very first couple of corners after the second restart. But Martin Henkel Mortensen still continues to lead. Seven minutes 45 on the clock plus an additional lap. Villelainen in second, Anderson, Lund, Schwitter, Hauer, Helfinger, Pejewski, Van der Kaj, and Liveris now rounds out the top 10. But I think Liveris might have to watch uh, Christoph Adams, depending on uh, the Belgians' lap times, as Lund now gets past Anderson for third place. So the battle from third down to sixth position is heating up at an increasing pace as uh, the uh, 408 of Matthias Lund gets a little bit switchy there going through the exit of turn four as they go through turns five, six, seven, into the left-hander at eight, down towards uh, number nine. But incredible, incredible control being showed by several of our drivers to avoid an incident as we've got another driver now uh, into the pits. That could be Malacek, I'm not too sure. Didn't quite catch it out of my commentary position. And we're now into the 49s and the best lap so far, no surprise, Martin Henkel Mortensen, who's extended the gap between himself and Willi Willilainen to over a second. And uh, we're now onto lap five, six and a half minutes to go as uh, Schwitter and Hauer have got past Andersson, who is dropping uh, down several places. The Swede now down in sixth position. Well, there's a little bit of coming together there. I'm just wondering if that was Anderson and Pajewski, who's trying to force the issue going through into turn six. Uh, looks into turn six there. But Dionysus Liveris could be hunted down by Christoph Adams from Belgium as the number 428 of uh, Anderson gets up the inside very, very cleanly and very, very tightly up the inside of the 494 of Rauer. Uh, that is for fifth position. So the Swede gets ahead, but Rauer is right on the back bumper, trying to go through turn one. Goes with the Swede pretty much toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They head into turn two. And the 494 didn't have an opportunity to do a late-breaking maneuver because Anderson just, Anderson just cut him off and uh, made sure and it looks like we've both got uh, Jan Malacek and Cosimo Cittignola uh, both out of the race very early. The, the, the uh, 418 has just parked it. But at the front of the field, the distance is pretty much equilateral between Henkel Mordensen and Willi Willilainen. And it's just over a second between the 424 and the 414. So we've hit the halfway mark in terms of time here in DD2 and DD2 Masters Heat 1. Class leaders in both categories, Henkel Mortensen leads overall. And Pejewski in the uh, 505 is the leading DD2 up into seventh position. Meanwhile, Helfinger has dropped back behind Dionysus Libris and Christoph Adams, who now hits the top 10. So that puts Adams second in position in terms of DD2 Masters in this particular heat. Uh, we have just over four and a half minutes plus one additional lap to go here in the first DD2 and DD2 Masters uh, qualifying heat of the day. And the gap is now being extended. It's now a case of Martin Henkel Mortensen. When I spoke with him earlier on this weekend, he said, I'm just simply here to race. I'm not here for a championship. And he's proving that right now. The consistency that the Dane has done all season long 
is definitely coming to fruition. He's been confirmed as our, this year's champion for DD2. But he's just gonna, he's gonna see out the season in style. As his gap between him and Vili Vililainen and now extends to 1.6 seconds. But meanwhile, this intense battle between Schwitter and Lund. And that's going to get incredibly racy now as Jan Schwitter in the 427 is getting right close and personal with the 408 of Matthias Lund. So it's two, two Danes in the top three. So three and a half minutes to go. Moransky has also parked it. So one of the top three out of DD2 Masters now parks it in the very first qualifying heat. That's a disaster for the Polish driver. Whereas Martin Henkel Morrison is still continuing to lead ahead of Vili Vili Line. And Pazhevsky is still back, is now past uh, Hauer for, uh, for, uh, for, 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 fit, uh, for sixth place. So top ten at the moment with just three minutes to go plus an additional lap as we have three confirmed retirements. Jan Malacek, Cosimo Sitignola and Slavomir Moransky, the biggest casualty of all in this race. Jan Schwitter is getting incredibly racy. Got very, very close to the back bumper of Matthias Lund as they go through towards the last sector of the lap. And Schwitter matched Lund on first sector and he's a tenth slower in the second. But he seems to close up to the Dane in the braking zones and also coming through certain corners. Let's see how this duo, as they now come around the final corner, great pick up by our camera crew there. So Lee's now past the uh, start finish line, now come through third and fourth. So Henkel Mortens extends the lead to 1.85 seconds ahead of Vili Vili Leinen, but watch out for Matthias Lund and Jan Schwitter. That's your battle for third and fourth position as we have just over two minutes plus one additional lap to go here in Wackersdorf for the first qualifying heat for DD2 and DD2 Masters. Still leading the way in DD2 Masters in this race is Pezhevsky. Um, uh, Pezevski uh, in the uh, 505. And Roberto Pezevski started in 12th position, so he's made up half the places if he was stopped. Well, effectively, he's, he's made up half the places uh, from where he started, as well as Christoph Adams in the top 10. He's trying to close up to Van der Kaj, but hasn't been able to do anything yet. 1 minute 40 on the clock. Leaders come through. Uh, leaders come through and Henkel Mortensen is nearly two seconds ahead of Willi Willileinen. Matthias Lund now in third place still with uh, Jan Schwitter now a further half a second adrift. So Schwitter uh, was really coming alive but now has dropped a bit to the Dane in the process over the last lap or so. But here is our leader, coolness personified, Denmark's Martin Henkel Mortensen just doing an absolutely stellar job. He's running in the low 49s. And his best lap is a 49.085, which just so happens to be the fastest lap of the race as he crosses the line with 56 seconds on the clock. The gap between him and Villa Leinen, who last time around was over a tenth slower than the Dane, uh, now is uh, a further is now two seconds adrift of the 4.24. Matthias Lund is a further 2.9 seconds behind, uh, with Jan Schwitter a further seven tenths of a second adrift. As Dionysius Liveris looks to be closing in the back bumper of uh, Roberto Pajewski um, in the 5.05. So the top DD2 runner running in the uh, top six has got a Grecian hot on his heels uh, for, the, uh, for a position. As uh, 13 seconds to go as Martin Henkel Mortensen comes around the final corner. He's going to cross the start finish line with around uh, five seconds. And as he gets into turn one, the time now expires. And his gap to uh, Vili Vili Line is now over 2.1 seconds. Christoph Adams is right with Van der Kaj. And that's really good showing from the Belgian, starting way down the order in 18th position. Made and has absolutely profited. Great move up the inside of William Van der Kaj for 8th position. Goes the Belgian of Christoph Adams. That's really, really good showing. It's going to be last lap, uh, last lap this time around. So last lap board being prepared for Martin Henkel Mortensen, who comes around the final corner, puts the throttle down fully to come across the start finish line. One lap it is to go here at Wackersdorf for the first DD2 and DD2 Masters race. Billy Billy line in a further 2.2 seconds behind. 
And Matthias Lund has won the battle, I think, between him and Jan Schwitter. So 408 is now third ahead of the 427. Anderson uh, Livres has finally got past Pajewski for sixth position. And Christoph Adams won't have enough time to catch on the uh, back bumper of the 505 as this is the last lap. He's about 3.7 seconds adrift of the 505 is Christoph Adams. But round the final hairpin comes Martin Henkel Mortensen from Denmark over the hump for the last time. Round the final corner comes the 424, puts the throttle down fully and takes the checkered flag to then win DD2 qualifying heat one ahead of Vili Vili Lainen by 2.129 seconds. Matthias Lund takes third ahead of Jan Schwitter. Johan Andersson takes fifth ahead of Dionysus Livris, who is pretty much with him going across the start finish line. Pajewski takes DD2 Masters top honors in seventh place with Christoph Adams started 18th finished in eighth as a, as a result of that carambolage at the front. So let's run through the uh, final finishing order here for the uh, first DD2 and DD2 Masters race here at Wackersdorf. Martin Henkel Mortensen takes the win ahead of Finland's Vili Vililainen with Matthias Lund in third, having fended off uh, Switzerland's Jan Schwitter. Johan Andersson rounds out the top five with two, well, with three from Scandinavia, making it a Scandinavian uh, uh, monopoly there. Dinis Slivris finished in six ahead of Roberto Bajewski, Christoph Adams, William van der Kaj, Ragnar Viris, uh, and then you've got Helfinger, Fodor, Weinstock, Becker, Bayer, and Hauer being the last of the 16 classified finishers with Slavoj Moransky, Cosimo Cittignola, and Jan Malacek rounding out the 19 strong with three official confirmed retirements here in Wackersdorf.